So look how I keep the craft scholar grip controlling the distance so he does not drop into a pressure pass. And my hooks right here is very important. One behind the shoulder and one right there I try to hook his leg. I'm going to start to push him back just to off balance him and create some reaction so he comes back forward. Now when he comes back forward I'm going to bring him up on top of me with my legs. Look how he's on top of me. And then now I'm going to start guiding him all the way to the side using my cross collar grip. So look how I started guiding him to the side. And then from here is where I'm going to enter the triangle. So my right leg that was hooking his shoulder is going to start coming over his shoulder. And then I'm going to pull with the cross collar. Remember, I don't want to go just pulling with the grip. Every time you guys are trying to lock a submission, I need to catch it. So I need to go up with my hips. If I just try to pull him into the submission, he uses his stiff arm and pushes his way out. So look how I try to always go up and catch up in the air. So look how I go up with my hips. It's important that I use, I need to have this feeling of like where I catch a submission. Now I start to bring him back down with my legs. Not just with the collar grip. So look how I start bending with my legs. So now I control and I finish the triangle. Come on.